a popular local food truck targeted by thieves. The family who runs it trying to recover the loss ahead of the holidays. Thefts are on the rise this year compared to last, according to Milwaukee police. And even the smallest businesses are unfortunately falling victim. Bruce Harrison is live near 60th in Oklahoma with a closer look. Bruce. Katie, good evening. Sazon Criollo is a modest business. It's run right here out of this trailer. And it was just days ago that someone busted the lock off the door and went right in. Fry plantain, we call it totones, um, pork fry, chicken fry. Owner Wilmer Quiles sells his Puerto Rican specialties at the corner of 60th and Oklahoma. Um, we're done for the week. We're going in the next day to clean the trailer. We found the door is open, um, no register, no um, tip jar. He's shocked someone would rob his little rolling restaurant. So somebody just popped the lock right off the door yeah. and went in there and took your register? Yeah. Okay. How much money did you lose? Like a 100. $100? Yeah. But it's not the cash that most concerns him. You're less upset about the money. You're more upset that just this would happen. Yeah, like, I don't know what happened. We lost the respect already. And I don't know. It's crazy, you know, but we work hard and that happened. Money is replaceable. But once you take that and take advantage of that, the, you know, the nicest of somebody and take advantage of that, then you really lose the respect of that person. Less than a mile away, Keyless stores his food trailer overnight in this alley. He found his register broken on the ground around here and just a few houses up, the tip jar empty. There have been more than 9,500 thefts to date this year in Milwaukee, up 19% from the same time last year. You know, in this seasonal giving and everything, you would think that, you know, when we could get back to a community, you know, we humble, we, we do our best, you know, and for somebody to just try to take advantage of that, you know. Uh, it's hard, you know, you're going and you, you, you try, got everything, you know, you got like that scare, but you know, we need to work again. We need to go day by day. And Katie Walkila says he's disappointed. He still loves Milwaukee and he's going to continue cooking up his finest right here at this trailer. And I want you to take a look, his, his tip jar, it's already filling back up. There's been a lot of customers today. Reporting live in Milwaukee, Bruce Harrison, TMJ4 News. That's